Hi everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of Aidy's Asian Kitchen. Uh, if you've been following and you've seen the delicious food that I've made then you'll know that the next one is going to be even better. Now today I am going to make a satay and I'm going to eat it with some delicious chia butter bread. Now this was already cooked by somebody else because my cooking skills do not uh, extend to bread making just yet but we've been to the market we've got all the ingredients I've got it all set out here in front of me so let's have a look okay so as you can see we've got everything nicely set out all freshly prepared in front of me we've got chicken and coconut milk and some uh, seasoning powder for the satay mix this is to marinate the chicken in then we're going to make the peanut sauce. We've got peanuts, coconut milk, some tamarind, some masaman paste and a bit of sugar. Uh, this is for the ajad and we've got some cucumber, sugar, white vinegar, some peppers, some onion and a bit of water. And as I've already showed you, some lovely fresh chia butter bread. Okay, so we're going to make a start on this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the marinade for the chicken. And then once that's done, we'll put that in the fridge while we get the rest of the ingredients put together. Right, so first things first is we've got 500 grams of chicken. Uh, that's chicken breast nicely sliced. And we've got some seasoning powder. You can buy this from just about anywhere. So it don't matter where you are and we're going to mix that with some coconut milk. Okay, so we've got the coconut milk and the seasoning powder. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mix that up for a couple of stirs. You don't have to get it too mixed in because once I get this into the chicken, I'm going to get my fingers dirty. Okay. okay, so the best way to get the chicken nicely marinated into the sauce is basically to use your fingers, get it all mixed in. You want to get as much of the sauce around the chicken as you possibly can. Okay, and just keep mixing it in nicely. Make sure that all the chicken is separated because you don't want any of the chicken sticking together. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep mixing it around, mixing it around there. Okay, so you can see that I've got the chicken nicely under the marinade. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick this in the fridge. I'm going to leave it for about an hour. Okay, so that's the chicken all in the marinade and that's in the fridge. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the peanut sauce. Now, keep an eye out because you'll want to have this. First of all, I'm going to put in some coconut milk. Now here I have about 200 ml of coconut milk and I'm just going to put about half of that in to begin with. So about 100 ml and then I'm going to turn the heat on. Now, just while the coconut milk is starting to warm up, I'm going to add 40 grams of Masaman curry paste. And I'm just going to stir that in nice and slowly. Just get that all separated. And I don't know about you, but peanut sauce is one of the best okay so i'm just going to mix that in there with the masaman and the curry paste just going to leave that for a few minutes i want to get it boiling uh, then i'm just going to add a little bit more of the coconut milk and then we'll add the peanuts now I've already ground the peanuts down, as you can see here. 
So the peanuts I've put in the blender and I've ground them down. Now you don't want to grind the peanuts down too much uh, because if you get too fine a paste, firstly it's going to start going to a liquid and there's nothing better than a little bit of nut in your sauce. Okay, so that's boiling away nicely now. So now I'm just going to add the rest of the coconut milk. So we've got 200 ml of coconut milk in there now. Okay, so that's boiling away lovely there. So what I'm going to do is I've got one tablespoon of sugar. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of tamarind. I'm just going to stir that up again. I want to keep this boiling away nicely. Because what I want to do is I want to get the oil coming through from the coconut milk. Okay, and now I got 100 grams of peanut. Just make sure that's all stirred in nicely. Mmm, that's boiling away a little bit too much. It's getting like a bit of a volcano, so I'm just going to turn that down a tad. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. That's going a little bit crazy there. Okay, so you can see now that I've got my satay sauce or peanut sauce to go with my satay chicken. Okay, so that's the peanut sauce made and it really is as easy as it looks. Coconut milk, a bit of sugar, a bit of tamarind and some ground peanuts, very easy. Now we're going to make a start on the ajad. Okay, to make the ajad, turn the heat on, get the pan hot, and I'm just going to add 50 ml of water. I've got four tablespoons of white vinegar. I'm just going to wait a second just while that starts to boil. Okay, and I'm going to add five tablespoons of just sugar. Granulated sugar, same as what you've got in your fridge at home, in your cupboard at home. Okay, and we'll just get that so that the sugar dissolves. Doesn't take too long. Okay, so you can see that that's dissolved already. Literally, it only takes less than a minute. Okay, so we're getting there, we're nearly done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the chicken onto the sticks. Now to do this, very simply, just push it in, push it through, push it in, push it through. Okay, now slice these quite thin, that way they don't take so long to cook. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. We've got all the chicken on the sticks. So that's been marinated in the fridge for about an hour. That's all prepared. I've left a bit of the sauce in here because I'm gonna use that just to put on them while they're still cooking. And what better way to cook chicken satay than on a barbecue. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna take some of the chicken. I'm gonna put it onto the barbecue. Make sure I get plenty of the sauce on there. Mmm, and that is already smelling delicious. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so you can see they're going a nice brown colour. And the reason I cut these nice and thin is so that they cook quite quickly. That looks like it's going to taste very nice. Okay, well we're there. Basically that's everything done now. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the bread, I'm going to mix the ajad and then you'll be able to see what we've got laid out. And it is a feast for kings. Okay, so that's the bread cut up nicely and all I got to do now is just add the peppers, the cucumber and the onion all back into the little pan. Give it a nice stir around. If you can see that there. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a bowl, pour it into the bowl. And there we have it. Chicken satay, peanut sauce, ajad, and some lovely, delicious, soft chia butter bread. Mmm, how nice does that look? Okay, well thank you for watching once again. It's been an absolute delight cooking that one. I hope you're gonna try it. And don't forget, leave your peanuts a little bit crunchy. That way, when you have it with the chicken, it'll taste beautiful. Well, thank you for watching again. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and press the notification button, that way, You'll know before anybody else when I release a new video. And that's all from me. I'll see you next time.